Hey guys, Havasu Lou out in beautiful Lake Havasu. Hey, we're on our way to check out a brand new home on the island. Has double RV garages. Hang out with us and check it out too, and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, guys, we're at 736 Malibu Place in the Grand Island Estates on the island across the Lennon Bridge. This one was just completed. Uh, it's a three bedroom, three bath, 2,160 square feet. Sits at the end of a nice little cul-de-sac. Has a double RV type garages. It's just listed for 1,099,000. So these are considered like patio homes, so the lots are a little smaller. Only 4,421 square foot lot. But it's all nice in here. It's right across the street from the Islander. Boathouse restaurant, it's real popular. That's right across the street as well. Also the marina and launch ramp is right across the street. These do have natural gas and underground utilities. All right guys, so you have your entry off the front door. So it's kind of a, a setup where you have a third bedroom on the ground floor and then the both RV garage access points. So that door is to the right hand side RV garage. And as you go down the hall, this is just a little utility closet. And then you have this door that goes to the left hand RV garage. So we're kind of going backwards as we're starting on the bottom. So this would be like the guest bath, all real nice. Nice walk-in shower. Got the nice four hinged interior doors. So this would be considered bedroom number three. And the way it was set up was to, you can actually put a, a door right there between, uh, right after the RV garage door and lock this part out and kind of turn it into a little casita if it's something that you wanted to do. So you got your little closet access to the uh, backyard. Real nice tile floors. All the finishes are real nice. So all the cabinets in the house are all upgraded with the soft touch clothes. Got a little room for a fridge down here. Let's go up chair, upstairs and check that out and then we'll come back down and do the uh, garages. So you also got this huge heavy metal door So this is your main living area up here. So again, this is a three bedroom, three bath, 2,160 square feet. It's really bright and open, huge tall ceilings, can lights. These all have fire and life safety systems. Nice kitchen island. I really like the uh, granite or the quartz that they picked, it's real nice. So again, you do have gas here. So you have a gas stove. You have your little pantry. So you have a double door slider out to the front patio. It's got a hose bib out here, power, a gas, a um, little spigot for a barbecue. 
There's a pretty similar house two doors down. So you got another guest bath right off the kitchen here. Nice walk-in shower with a glass door. All right, let's go check out the master. So you got bedroom number two, the rear of the house. All pre-wired, can lights. Nice little peekaboo view of Cupcake Mountain and even a little bit of the lake. So you have double doors right off that bedroom. So you have your laundry, gas hookups. So you have a little run to the master bedroom at the front of the house. It's a really good size. Again, it's pre-wired, can lights, barn door to the master bath. Little lake view off the master. So you get your barn door entry into the master bath. Again, really nice. All the same quartz and cabinets. Toilet has its own door. You have another glass door, shower, real good size. Has the rain head, can lights, real nice tile work. Your air handler is also in this little closet. And then you have a master walk-in closet. All right, let's go check out the garages. Wanted to make sure we get this little view deck in right off the kitchen. There's a little storage area right before you go up the stairs. Nice little setup. Maybe you could put your barbecue in here or something when you're not using it. So this takes us up to the view deck, which is at the very top of the home. It's a little windy today, so apologize in advance. So you got a real nice panoramic view of Lake Havasu. The lake. Doing a little pano for you. A little bit more of the lake. Cupcake Mountain. A little bit more of the lake. Thompson Bay out there. So you also have a natural gas stem out up here for a barbecue. There's power, down lights, another hose bib. All right, now let's go check out the RV garage. All right, so you have the right side RV garage. Has a 14 foot door, 50 foot deep, pre-wired for mini splits. Has a big ceiling fan, fire sprinklers. It's finished off just like the rest of the house with the big baseboards and the trowel down uh, drywall. Has full hookups, including a clean out, 30 amp, even has a little uh, sink back here. There's also a big storage access up here. Has your water softener, there's a light. All right, so the left-hand RV garage is also 50 feet deep with an 11 foot door. Also pre-wired for mini split units. Has a deep section here. So this deep section, it's about 
12 feet wide, so you can get pretty much any boat back in here that has an eight and a half foot beam on it. Doors are both insulated with master lifts. Again, there's fire sprinklers in here as well. So you have your little backyard area off the little third bedroom casita set up. So you can actually put a pool back in here even though it looks small. Got your uh, electrical boxes already installed for future mini split units. Hey guys, have a see Lou back again with you. Hope you enjoyed that quick little video walkthrough. If you guys have any questions about it, there will be a direct link to the listing detail page right below this video so you can get all the latest pictures, price, availability. Of course, if you guys have any questions come up, I'm always here to help. Always feel free to reach out to me. I'll put all my contact information right below this video as well. You guys have a great day and I'll... Oh, 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 oh,